guys, it's Jessie V, and in today's video, I'm going to be telling you why you should never trust a recipe that you find on Pinterest. And yes, I am wearing a Powerpuff Girls shirt. Sometimes when I think about recipes, I think about the Powerpuff Girls, because technically their father, the scientist, made them from a recipe. If you know, you know. And I'm wearing a mystery galaxy ball necklace. It's kind of hard to tell because I really said, how many colors can I fit on this shirt today? But I'll get you a closer look. Look how cool. Look at the galaxy inside and it's literally a globe. So yeah, these are restocked. They are available on the website. We have like 25 different styles and it's literally a globe on your necklace with a galaxy inside. It's a mystery as to which one you're gonna get. And I just think they're so cool. So I'm gonna put a link down below in the description for you. And without further ado, let's get right into today's video. Pinterest is a social site where you can collect and share images of anything that you find interesting. You can also visually discover new interests by browsing the collection of other Pinterest users. People use Pinterest to get inspo for weddings, home decor, tattoos, recipes, outfits. I feel like we've all been on this app at least some point in our lives. I even go on there when I want to get a wallpaper for my phone. So today we're talking about someone who found a very weird cookie recipe on Pinterest and was so intrigued by it that they decided to make it. She was scrolling through the app and saw a photo of these extremely appetizing chocolate chip cookies on a plate and after clicking on the photo she saw that the heading was grandma's secret cookie recipe and then there was a link to go see the instructions. And as you know whenever you go on the internet to search for a recipe there's usually an entire page leading up to the instructions of someone's life story and usually she would just skip through it just like we all do at least I think so but she felt intrigued to find out why these grandma's cookies were so loved and here's what the blurb said ever since I was a kid my grandma made these chocolate chip cookies for me and my sister they were always so moist and delicious we used to tell her they were made of magic and whenever we asked her how she made them she would tell us that she'd sprinkle fairy dust on top of them I always used to think that was the secret to her recipe her family and friends tried so hard to get the recipe from her, but she said that while she was alive, no one would know how to make them but her. She was so secretive about it. Well, on her deathbed, she held onto my hand and whispered it into my ear. I had to quickly grab a piece of paper to write it all down. Just before she closed her eyes and passed away, she told me that if I ever made the cookies, I had to remember to place one on a plate for her at the front door. I agreed and then she was gone. I have kids of my own now and I still make these cookies for them all the time. It's their favorite. And yes, I always place one by the door for her. Funny thing is, I always thought she was joking, but it seemed like whenever I turned my back, the cookie would be gone, like she had actually been there. It ends off with her saying, now I'm sharing this recipe with the internet so you all can enjoy these amazing cookies. They are truly special and it feels wrong to keep it away from the world. Hopefully grandma would approve of this decision. Just remember, if you make them, leave one on a plate by your front door. And while that last sentence was definitely very strange, the recipe itself was pretty normal. It called for butter, white sugar, brown sugar, flour, sea salt, and chocolate chips. So it's not like anything weird is in the ingredients. They're all pretty basic. Then she had all of the instructions listed out, but there was this very strange step at the end. It said, bake in preheated oven for nine minutes exactly do not look away while they cook. What does that even mean? Like, why? Imagine watching your grandma just standing in the kitchen having a staring contest with the oven for almost 10 minutes. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but that's a little creepy. Anyways, this girl was certain that she wanted to make this recipe, so she did. She was careful to follow every little detail precisely and even watch them cooking in the oven when it felt like it took forever. I mean, it's like watching paint dry, except you're watching the cookie dough rise. Isn't there like a saying that says something like, if you're looking, it's not cooking. Well, the cookies smelled amazing and she eagerly took them out of the oven to cool down, but the time she wanted to wait did not last long at all. She wanted to taste them so badly and even though they were still super hot, she began eating them. They were like nothing she'd ever tried before, gooey, chocolatey, perfection. She ate cookie after cookie. She almost felt like she wasn't able to stop herself. And before she knew it, they were all gone. And as she was closing down her laptop, 
laptop for the night that had the recipe on it, she realized that she had forgotten one step. She never placed one by the door. But she shrugged, knowing that it wasn't her grandmother, so she didn't feel like she had that personal connection to do that anyways. But in the middle of the night, she awoke to noises downstairs, and she sat up and listened closely. It sounded like something was rubbing against a window, so she was worried that maybe she had left her dogs outside. So she walked down the steps in the dark and then stopped in her tracks. There was a silhouette behind the window of her front door. It was dragging its hand down the glass over and over again. It was just like doing this on the glass as it stood there. And there was also this muffled humming that she could hear. And as she walked closer, she realized that it was singing coming from whoever was standing there. And this was the eerie song. Bring me my cookies, my cookies, my cookies. Bring me my cookies, my cookies, my cookies. So she froze knowing exactly who was at her door. She ran back upstairs, she closed the door, and she sat on her floor in terror, listening to the scraping against the door and the humming and the creepy song all night long until the sun came up. As soon as the sun rose in the sky, it stopped. And as you can imagine, she never made those cookies ever again. So I thought that was so creepy and I just know that as I'm editing this video and I have to put photos in there, I'm gonna crave chocolate chip cookies. And I'm so sorry if I did that to you guys as well. But I do wanna know something. If you saw this cookie recipe on Pinterest or just online anywhere, and it was talking about how magical and amazing these cookies are, would you make them? If you would, even hearing that weird warning, comment the cookie emoji if you would make them. And if you would, you should probably put one by your door. But if you would not make them, comment the ghost emoji. Cause I don't know what I would do. I mean, a part of me wants to try and make this recipe on the vlog channel because I'm crazy. But if I didn't have YouTube, it would definitely be a ghost emoji. <laughs> so comment which one you would choose. Anyway, so guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget if you would like one of our galaxy ball necklaces, I have linked them down below. But I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!